There's evidence tonight of a major shift in public opinion about sexual assault. The Australia Talks National Survey has found a majority now believe sexual assault allegations are almost always true, a significant jump from just two years ago. It comes as New South Wales police reveal a sharp jump in sexual assaults reported in March on the back of a rape allegation that rocked federal parliament and an inspiring survivor being named Australian of the Year. Survivors standing in silence to be heard. You're not alone. We are here. The first time Michelle Parry was raped was on school grounds. She was 16. Two years later, it happened again. I never came forward to the police with my story. I never told my parents. Michelle Parry is now able to tell her story. What do we want? on the back of a global cry for change that resonated here. 2021 Australian of the Year is Grace Tame. Grace Tame's story inspiring former political staffer Brittany Higgins to come forward with her allegation of sexual assault at Parliament House. There's more communication and spotlight put on sexual violence in the mainstream media. So I think people are feeling like their story will be heard. As more women share their stories, we've seen a major shift in public opinion. In just two years, the number of us who agree sexual assault allegations are almost always true has jumped by 14 percentage points. And while women are still more likely to believe sexual assault allegations than men, more men think they're true now than they did in 2019. I think it is a direct result of survivors coming forward, of the truth being heard. But alongside the shift in public opinion, experts want systemic change. About nine in 10 sexual assault victims still don't come forward. For survivors, like what do they what do they gain um, by speaking out? Um, and you know, unfortunately, at the moment, all too often, it's not being believed. Change at an institutional level to match the bravery of many individuals. Stephanie Dalzell, ABC News.